Hey everybody, Pop Can Dan back at you. Hey, so Halloween is coming up, guess what? Uh, last year Redbeard and I did a Halloween video. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. But I said this year I wanna up the ante a little bit. I wanna raise the bar. I wanna get a little bit more crazy. So you know what I'm doing this year? You recognize this door behind me? No? Maybe you recognize that sign. You recognize what that says? Lizzie Board and Bed and Breakfast. That's right, folks. I am here in Fall River, Massachusetts. We are staying overnight with a paranormal investigation team at the Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast. This is gonna be crazy, man, I'm telling you. Uh, we're with the Paranormal Investigation Team, the Cape Cod Paranormal Investigation Team have this place for the evening. So we are going to be uh, spending the evening with them, my daughter Mackenzie and I, and we are going to, <laughs> if it's not bad enough, they got us. They got us staying in the room where Abby Borden, the mother, the stepmom, was murdered, hacked with an hatchet, a hatchet, face down right beside the bed in the exact same spot where we're staying <laughs> come on man that's crazy that is crazy um okay i know this is supposed to be a metal detecting uh, it's my metal detecting channel so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go over to the side i'm going to point right here and this is a photo of me metal detecting all right you see it that makes it a metal detecting video but it's also oh creepy bells ringing now but now it's the halloween version man and this is going to get awesome man gonna get awesome hang tight what what haunted house wouldn't be complete without a black cat we need a black cat if we have a haunted house right Lizzie Borden house black cat it all ties together man oh yeah This is the Lizzie, well, the, sorry, the Borden family. There's some Borden dude up there. The Borden family plot, like this whole squared area here. So we're gonna walk around and see if we can find uh, Lizzie Borden's grave. Um, wow, there's a lot of Bordens here, hang tight. Man, this cemetery is creepy. It's just like the ones you see in the movies. Oh, this is creepy, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can't seem to- yeah, this is a this is a pop can pop can daughter. <laughs> it's my daughter Mackenzie. She uh, took this trek. We took this trek together all the way down the Fall River, Massachusetts. <sighs> right, man, oh man. Well, I don't know. I don't know what we do. I think you have to keep following the arrows. Okay, yeah, we got we're gonna keep following. They said you gotta follow the there's arrows on the road to get there, but we saw the big board in uh, right there we saw the big Borden uh, statue so we thought this would be family there are acorns. oh those are acorns oh my gosh that scared me away I gotta get out of here come on let's get out of here <laughs> all right did we find it we found it okay let's go have a look oh by the way the arrows you see there's arrows and they come around and they point right in here so as we walk up here. There we are. I wonder if Sarah's Hey look there's a penny in there. They put pennies in it. No way. Yeah. Look at that. So there it is. Andrew Jackson Borden. 1892. That was when he was murdered. Hmm. His wife. Sarah Anthony Borden. 
Uh, okay, so she was not there. Sorry, that was his first wife. That's Abby um, Dufree Borden, 1892. She was murdered the same day as Andrew was, and this is where they're buried. Pretty neat. Still don't know where that wild Lizzie Borden is uh, buried. But we're going to look around here. Come up here and read this one. What does that say? Uh, Elizabeth. Emma. Liz. I think Emma's her sister. And Emma. Oh, yeah. It's the one with all the coins on it. This is where she's buried. Guys. I'm, actually, I'm standing on her. Whoops. This right here is the final resting place of Lizzie Morgan. Although, I don't believe this is her final resting place. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's in the house where we're going tonight. Lizzie. Wow. So there you go. We That's found it. We found it. Lizzie Borden's grave right there. That is insane. Look, people, what do you see right there? People have been drinking, having a couple of drinks with her, leaving her money. I should check if there's any silvers there. That's what a metal detector does. No, I ain't touching it, man. I don't want to get cursed. There we go. That is cool. So, Mackenzie just said, because this is Lizzie's final resting place. It's right, like, the, the, the grave is right there. But is she really resting there? That's what we're wondering, because we're spending the night in the Lizzie Borden house. And if she was resting, she would be over there, but apparently not. We just seen some photos in the gift shop a guy showed us uh, that blew our minds, like some, some ghost photos. <laughs> we're really getting more nervous by the minute. I... I've never had any ghostly experiences before, so I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I guess we'll find out later. We will find out later. We'll see. Okay, so let me tell you a little uh, what actually happened at this house. Uh, the reason why it's so famous is uh, 1892, uh, Lizzie Borden for, well, I think they think they know the reason. One day, uh, and it was about 11 in the morning on a weekday, uh, went upstairs and uh, took a hatchet to her stepmother. Uh, I don't know. How the rhyme goes, Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. I don't know how many cracks to the skull she took, but it was enough uh, that the stepmom went down face first on the floor. Uh, the part that really sucks is that we are sleeping in that room where she did go face first down on the floor. That's not cool. And the other one was, of course, um, Andrew Borden. He, uh, he was sitting on the couch. He came home early from work. He was sitting on the couch, and uh, she came up behind him and hit him with the axe on the side of the head and uh, he died right on the couch right there on the spot so uh, as you can see things are starting to things are starting to get uh, fired up here here comes the paranormal research team coming out <laughs> if you see us wearing blue we're part of the team tonight look at everybody there they all are this is going to be great and here we go <laughs> Alright friends, everyone, tonight it's gonna be a fun night. Good night. 
<laughs> fun night. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god, I was just asked. Don't end it on the side. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Okay, so out of the kitchen to the basement. This is the most creepiest part of the house. Let's just go down now while the lights are still on uh, before the whole investigation begins. Let's just go down and check this out. Check this out. This place is creepy. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting dark. It is getting dark. <laughs> Not sure if the pop can likes this. By the way, you see me on my back. You tell me if you see a ghost or something behind my back. I don't I can't see it, alright? Oh boy. Boy oh boy. So at times like these, I say to myself, how did I get here? How did I get into this? So I was just handed a uh, one of these EMF detectors. Not quite sure how it works. I think you just turn it on and when it starts to light up, that means there's uh, activity around. That's pretty cool, man. I can't wait to try this. Good, good. I got my headlamp. Um, I got an extra pair of underwear. I'm good to go. Okay, so we just want to introduce some of the equipment that we use, and then if you guys have a preference of something you might want to use tonight, um, <laughs> and handle, feel free. I break everything I do. What we, what we <laughs> normally, <laughs> the, the pieces of equipment that we rely on most are the uh, recorders, the voice recorders. That's probably our most important piece of equipment. And the K2. And the K2 meters, which measure electromagnetic energy, right? Correct. So these are really the most important pieces of, information, or of equipment that ghost hunters use. So if you kind of want to get started doing your own thing, I would suggest that those are the two pieces of equipment that you start out with. <laughs> so she had mentioned about stick figures and in, in mm -hmm. an Xbox camera. So this Xbox Connect, do you remember the Xbox 360 when they released the Connect? Mm -hmm. And what it would do would be mapping out people or mapping out figures and that would interact with the console and then you could see yourself or see movement on the screen. So they use that with this tablet to do exactly that. So the, it's a light sensor that's actually mapping out people. So if she were to shoot that, you would see stick figures of all oh, of you. That's awesome. Yeah. Don't think but, I'll ever be that small. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, I almost had it. I was like, oh, I look great. <laughs> um, and then if, she, but if she's shooting it in somebody and you see a stick figure and then you see something else pop up, clearly there's not a person there. It's mapping out somebody's energy through a light sensor. So, again, the theory is, is that if a kid, mm -hmm. we'll probably put this upstairs in the attic because kids are attracted to little bears or toys or little teddy bears. And it's a trigger object. It's something that's going to allow them to interact with it based on it being a bear. So the K2 meter or the, the box that's measuring the energy is actually back in this little backpack. But because it's a cute little bear, the theory is it'll come up and touch the bear, move the bear. Are you okay with us being here? Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything you would like us to know? Any fluctuations on the temperature in there? No. Were you happy living in this house? Are you seeing someone at the foot of the bed? Abby, is that you? If it is, thank you for showing yourself. Okay, 
So, the Abbey Borden room, uh, so far there was activity in there. Uh, that was that was really cool to see that on that screen. Um, it's called an SLS camera and it shows like stick figures light up if some, if there's activity that moves. And um, so yeah, that's where we're sleeping by the way. That's that's a good start. Children here. Make sure it's not my fault. Can you tell us uh, your names? Yeah, just make sure your phone's not near it. Is Eliza here? <clears throat> Holden here? Can somebody put their hand on the bed? Somebody put their hand on the corner of the bed. Somebody what? Somebody put their hand on the bed. Me? Yeah. Oh. Is this bed moving? Talk to me. No, I don't feel it moving. Oh, okay. It must be just me then. I don't feel it. Maybe not. But I'll stay here. Well, maybe it's maybe it's me teetering, but it just feels like the bed's moving maybe a bit. Or you could be drunk. Could be. <laughs> could be. I am Canadian. <laughs> Many choices. Yeah. No way out. No way out. That's what you guys hear? Yeah. Is that what you heard too?